What's up everybody? This is your girl Tiffany coming to you with a updated um, favorites video. Um, I wouldn't even necessarily say this is a favorites for the month, um, but just in general, like favorites. Um, I can't tell you which one of these videos will be posted um, first, but I recorded um, this video and I recorded this makeup look for you um, today. My first favorite is my Urban Decay D Slick Primer. Can you tell? Yes, love this. This is like $36. Um, I already have a backup of this because I love it so much. You can't even really see, but it says Urban Decay D-Slick Complexion Primer. They have three different new primers. One is hydrating, one is perfecting, but the D-Slick, if you are oily, get this because it's life. Best primer I've ever used. I don't use anything else now. I was using Becca. This works better than Becca. Yes. Next favorite is... Something else for oil control. I bought this. I saw Destiny Godly talk about this. I think it was Destiny Godly. This is the Cover FX Custom Blot Drops for oil control. Now, I wear Studio Fix. I usually wear Studio Fix Fluid, and I was dropping these drops into the Studio Fix Fluid to help me stay matte. And this, actually, I didn't think that I would like this. I didn't think it would work. But I actually enjoy this. It does. I do notice that my face stays matte longer. So I actually enjoy it. So also along the same ranges is the Hard Candy Camouflage Mix In Turn Me Matte Drops. These are even better than these because these, I noticed that I stay super matte. And this you can get for like $6 at the drugstore. Now I don't like the dropper system for this because I think that this formula is too thick for the dropper system. But it does mattify my face and my foundation. Now I'll drop this into my foundation. I don't put this all over my face. I noticed that I stay super matte with this more so than these. But I do like both of them. Now, if you can't afford this one, because this one is like 42 bucks, definitely go get this one for $6 from um, Walmart. I'm finding this very hard to find these because a lot of people are kind of getting up on it and it, it, it works really good. So they kind of always have are out of stock on these. But if you can order online, order them online because they're super worth it. The next thing is another favorite is my setting spray which is the ruby kisses my light is like glaring down on me the ruby kisses um never touch up setting spray the 24 hour long lasting spray i love this it makes all of my makeup stay on all freaking day it is amazing this is the best primer or setting spray i've ever used i will never buy another expensive primer i can get this up the street from my house at the beauty supply for five dollars now, you don't get a full, well, you get 1.69 fluid ounces. Um, I do kind of go through these fast. Like, I think a bottle lasts me like three weeks, which is good because um, I do makeup every, pretty much every day. Um, so, that's still good, but I wish they would make this bottle bigger, but I don't care. As long as they don't change the formula, I will, I will keep buying it at this size for five bucks. Love it. It's something that was recently released at um, MAC with a collection, I think it was called, I'm horrible, um, oh my god, I can't even remember, it's the workout, work it out. Yes, that collection. These were relaunched because I think these were out before with the Work It Out collection. And these are called Crystal Glaze Gloss. This one is called Nice Cheeks. Now, I love these. I like how they feel. It's like very soft and cushiony and jelly. You gonna chew on my shoe? Really? That's my dog chewing on my shoe because she know I'm a killer. That's why she looked at me like that. But anyway, so nice cheeks. Um, it's very cushiony. It's not a lot of covers. They do come in different colors. Like I have a purple one, I have a red one, and then I have this one. They all kind of look the same, but this one is my favorite one because um, it does have a slight, the red one does have a slight tint to it almost. Um, and you guys know I don't like red lipstick. And um, but this is gloss, so it's very, very sheer. So you would just do better just getting this one. These are $22. I love this. Um, I know a lot of people don't like glosses that you have to kind of stick your finger in, but honestly, I don't stick my finger in. Um, I guess because I just have big lips, I guess. I just take this and I just do like this across my lips, and then 
that's it like when I'm not wearing makeup this is like my go-to I even put this on um, I even put this on at night before I go to sleep um, I just like how it feels on my lip so that's that these are still like my particular location um, at Mac we sold out of these really fast um, so I probably don't think any Mac counter would have them but um, yeah, because they're that good but I believe they are still available online at maccosmetics.com so the next thing is actually something that I'm wearing today which is my lipstick um, this is just a lipstick by itself no lip liner no nothing I've been raving about this my sister even stole one that I had in my purse so I did, she didn't steal it I gave it to her but um, that I had in my, in my purse um, that one day we went to go get coffee and this is called cold hard cash lipstick by Mac life i love this i went and got a couple backups of it because i wear this like all the time it's my go-to because i don't have to wear a lip liner with it i put my chestnut down to rest with this yes jesus but um this is a matte it came out with the color rocker collection and so it is limited they need to make this permanent though but i have plenty of them so i'm sure that I won't have to worry about running out of it but I do really really like this lipstick I'm sure by the time I run out of my backups they'll probably gonna realize how bomb it was and brought it back but yeah I don't have to do anything oh perfect it's like the perfect nude for women of um, my skin color like so it like NW 45 on up like 47 48 50 55 get you a cold hard cash life um, I still have some at my location, um, and I'm at Macy's Somerset, um, but I think it's still online too. Yeah, I, it is still online, I believe. So, um, you can order it online, but it is bomb, and you know MAC lipsticks are bomb anyway. So, another thing that I'm wearing today is my foundation. Well, it's actually a face color, because it's not really a foundation. Um, this is the next to nothing face color face illuminator as they say this color is in dark deep now y'all know that I love my full coverage I normally go for my studio fix fluid I have set studio fix fluid down for this now when I first came in I was like I don't need no sheer foundation I need my coverage I need to leave me beat face and blah 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 I tried it out because it was, you know, we were wearing it. We had to try it out. When I tell you, I've already bought a backup of this. I love this. Love this. <laughs> and I'm oily. So you make sure you prime. So, like, I use this primer. And I don't put the drops in. I just use this primer. And I use this on top of it. Done. Um, now, I do like it. It did, it did come out with the powder, the next to nothing powder. But like I said, I, um, in my previous video or the video that you'll see after this, um, I bought a, I got the wrong shade in the powder. So um, I have to get a different shade and then I'll try it with the powder because it oxidized on me pretty, um, really bad. But the dark deep is perfect for me. And I use this um, with the mineralized skin finish in dark deepest. And for those of you that don't know what that looks like, it is this guy here. It's dark deepest, not dark deep, dark deepest. Um, I like this one because it's neutral. It's not red on the skin. So these two together is bay. Another thing that I'm wearing is my Prep and Prime highlighter in dark deep. Love this. It's the perfect highlight shade. Now, if you like that extra full coverage, don't do this. But this one is really good for a highlighter. I don't have any concealer on. I just have this under my eye. And you can see how I used it um, in my video that you'll see either before or after this. I think I'm going to put this one up first. And then that way you can see the, what how I use these products in that video. So the next favorite is like a couple brushes that I like to use. And they're dirty because I just did my makeup. So don't judge me. So first brush is from Morph in the M463 brush. It's like a little short, little fluffy kabuki brush, a little fat handle brush. I love this for my powder. I love this brush. Um, it's perfect for me to just buff into the skin. Um, it picks up the perfect amount of powder and I just like how it feels in my hand. 
Morph has some really, really good quality brushes, like for real, for reals, for reals. The next brush is a MAC brush. It is called the 134 brush. I don't know. I think they still sell this brush, but it might be online. I'm pretty sure it's online. So it's like a um, pinched handle, um, wide powder brush. That's what it looks like. I think I have a 150 brush here somewhere. I think it's so I can show you the difference between the two. Um, yep. Okay. So this is the 150 brush. Okay. That's the big fluffy powder brush that Max sells. And this is the 134 brush. This was um, only available online, not in stores, but this is sold at the Max store. So that's the difference. See, that's why I like this brush. I use this one just around the perimeter and like to set my contour and stuff like that. But I love how big and fluffy it is. Um, so the next brush is another MAC brush and this is a new addition to the MAC brush family and it is the 140S brush. This was released with the next to nothing. I have the other one for the foundation, but this is the one. This is the start of the show. I really like this one. Um, it's like a, it's a big deluxe fan brush. So I like this one to put like my blush on, my like bronzer, stuff like that. So I really like this one. Another one is what I use, what I've been obsessed with for, and I cleaned out some brushes too. I threw away a lot of brushes and gave them away. Um, but this is the Morphe M439 brush. Yes, I'm just, I know this brush has been out and like raved about on YouTube for the longest, but I just recently got it and I'm obsessed with it. I see why it's been all the hype because it is like perfect for applying any foundation i like how dense it is like how wide it is it's perfect it's everything in a buffing brush for foundation so next thing is and i think it's the last thing oh cool so next thing is and this is just one particular shade this is the max extra dimension blushes this one is in wrapped candy it looks like this i love these blushes they came out with these like just in time because I was getting bored with my blush collection that I had. So I ended up buying like six or seven of the colors. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did post a picture of the colors that I purchased. But this is just one of them. So my two favorite ones though is this one, the Warp Candy. And let me swatch it. I did do live swatches on Instagram Live as well. But this is Warp Candy. And the other one is hard to get. It's per these two are like everything for women of color. Chocolate girls unite. So that's what that looks like. A lot of people were saying that this looks like sweetest cocoa, but it's actually darker than sweetest cocoa. I like how the finish of these blushes have you, they give you like a wet look to the skin, but without being like really wet. It's like a glowy look. Um, if you want details, but that is really all of my favorites that I have um, so far. And yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's what I've been like going to um, on a daily, like my daily like makeup routine. Or those are the majority of the products that I normally um, go to. So I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video. If you want the details on what I am wearing, um, please um, stay tuned for the video that I will be posting soon about oh well it's a tutorial on the look that i am wearing today um so far and yeah yeah that's pretty much it that's what i've been like going to um on a daily like my daily like makeup routine or those are the majority of the products that i normally um go to so I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video. If you want the details on what I am wearing, um, please um, stay tuned for the video that I will be posting soon about, oh well, it's a tutorial on the look that I am wearing today. So thanks for watching my video. I'll see you guys soon.